Brianna Flexible Fasting. This is a flexible fasting show slash podcast. And um, I am here with Sam today, Mr. Flexible Fasting. <laughs> love calling you that. It's so funny. Mm. Anyways, uh, where we share the truth with love so you can be all that God created you to be. And today we want to share some of our history. And basically, what are all the crazy things that we tried <laughs> before we found flexible fasting? Because um, I think you guys are going to find it just as funny as we do now that we yeah. know how to really actually lose weight and improve our health with fasting. Uh, but, you know, 10 years of searching, like, there's a lot of things that we tried and mm-hmm. did um, to lose weight. And the very first being what you were taught and I were taught as healthcare professionals is to just eat less and move more. Yep. And we did that for probably like the first 10 years of our marriage for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, and it kind of worked off and on um, for a while. Well, we got less successful with it, but, but we got busier. We had, we got, I thing. was going to school, we had kids. Um, I actually, I was working full time when I was in college, I worked, actually worked at the gym and that's what I did. I, I had, a, I had the, the gym plan, the exercise more, eat less plan. And I had all these, and I was like, one of the success stories Graphs and, charts and, and, like and I everything. would teach other people how to do it. It's like, that's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. I was just totally like, you know, that's all you gotta do. And then that worked for me until I hit 30 and all of a sudden it stopped working. Right. But, and so we kind of, we kind of, we got married and we like, and like most people we had the slow creep. Of weight. Of yeah. weight. And then I went to grad school, and grad school was um, was full-time for, for three years. Yeah, and, it was and, intense. And I really, I mean, I tried to work out like once or twice, but it just never worked out. You just, yeah. You know? You just, I mean, the gym at the school, but I, I think I went there once, and, and yeah. uh, there was just never time. I was like, and, then, and, I, and I made the decision. Because any free time that you had, well, I mean, the program was like you were working like 80 hours a week, basically. Any free time you had, you spent with me and the kids. Or studying. And, or studying, right? For the next so, test. Yep. So there wasn't really. But, I, and then you, you can, it's easy to justify it. You're like, just well, well, I can't build my body right now. I can, I'm building my brain, you know, I'm building this career. And, I, and, and I'll just go back to what I did before once I'm done building this career. Right. And so that was the goal. And so we got the career built and we got, we got a new job and, and, uh, you know, we were, we were working, we were. We were at, in a place where we could finally where, start maybe yeah. exercising. And I, yep. So we decided we're, we're going to do that. it. And we, there was a weight loss competition and I was like, I'm going to win this thing, you know, cause I was like, yeah. man, I've been heavy for so long. And, and brain, I, know, right? brain, yeah. I was like, I know you're going to do great. Like it's, it's awesome. <laughs> and Failed. <laughs> yeah. Same. Miserable. And it was like, like all of a sudden. I, my weight would not budge one ounce. Yeah. Not we, one. We, we, we failed. We like lost. And like, we were working out and counting calories. And like I didn't. Yeah. I never lost they a to, single ounce that They didn't time. want to take this, some sort of thermogenic pills. And I was like, no, I'm not doing that. I don't need that. I know what I'm doing. Nah. Ironically, years later, I took them because I was <laughs> Because, like, nothing okay, else so, working. So that failed. And then we started this, like, basically the next 10 years of just, like, trying things and failing. Basically. Yeah. And we get temporary results. So, you know, yeah. like, we, we got up we got up and started doing P90X for a little while. Right. Yeah. Like, super early in the morning. And yeah. that was so stressful for me because I'm not a morning person. And he had to be at work so early. So we were, like, getting up at, like, 4 a.m. to, like, yeah. try and work out. And doing then, our hour. Right. And then he would go to work and then I'd have the kids, you know, all day or then I'd go to work and it just It was that yoga video that did it. It was <laughs> It was it. That was it killed us. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh the yoga hands. video was, it was an it hour was, and a half. Yeah. The hour and a half. Just, we could do an hour, but the hour and a half yoga video, that's what that, that just killed that us. Derail, derail doing us. the same thing over and over again for an and, hour and a half. That was hard. So yeah, the thing is, so, is now to think back on it, you're like you're like if you're doing something like I'm so never gonna do this my entire life. I'm never gonna work out six days a week my entire life. You right. Know? That early in the morning. Like and so like, if you just don't think about the fact that this is not sustainable, right? Forever. I'm doing something. I'm doing something temporarily to get, and then I'm going to get temporary results. It's it's just what we right. did, right? And, and we just go, oh, I just need this reset. I just need to do this. And I just get addicted to it. Um, so it's, yeah, it, we were we were like, we're going to start this new habit, and it's going to be good forever. Bought our treadmill to hang our clothes on. And eventually, oh my gosh, we were so <laughs> tired at night. Got like it. we were just. But we tired. tried, and we were yeah. counting calories, and and so that. I mean, eventually that that also yeah. failed. People were starting to also, notice we were losing weight, but then all of a sudden, you know, we just crashed and burned, and yeah. you know, just wasn't sustainable. Yeah. But I so I started doing more research on like healthy diets and things like that, mm-hmm. and um, we were doing at that point. I think yeah, at sometime around that point, I started doing the paleo diet. Okay. And yes, that, paleo was, I think, was yeah, first. Yeah. That was the first thing that we 
did to improve our like nutrition um, besides counting calories because the counting calories thing wasn't working because we were still eating so much processed food mm-hmm. at that time and so it just did not do us any favors. Plus I like I, I, I like cheese too much so paleo was just not going to be. <laughs> well the paleo was good. Um, it helped my health a lot because it eliminated grains and dairy for a while and that really helped me. Um, and our daughter because she has food allergies and stuff so that that was good for a while. Um, but you end up I like, didn't I didn't lose any weight he, though. No, we didn't really lose any weight. We just replaced some yeah. foods with other foods and Yeah. So it just being another restrictive thing, eventually if not everyone is on board in the house with it, then you just eventually go back to eating what you've yeah. been eating forever and so yeah. Yeah, and then and then you know you you get this I don't want to waste any food I mentality. You know, we can't waste food because, you know, somehow you eating more food, somebody who doesn't get enough food is going to thank you for that. That's basically the, you know, they don't thank you. Somebody's, tr- somebody, somebody's starving somewhere and they're like, oh, they're like, and they're like so I should eat this more food. And it's like, why should you do that? Like the person's like, you're like, hey, well, I put on a lot of weight because you can't eat. And they're like, oh, thank you for doing that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> nobody's ever going to tell you thank you for eating no. more food. You know what I mean? No, it's, uh, it's okay not to. It's okay eat. not to finish, but to so yeah, as a you everything. know when I had little kids, you know they we would go to McDonald's and they wouldn't finish all their nuggets or and they wouldn't finish all their fries and and I would eat them. I'd finish it. Everything would be finished. And then I got to the point where I I like kind of planned my meal around that that like I would be cl- doing the cleanup. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so I would only order so much based on cleanup crew at the end. And then they started eating all their food. <laughs> <laughs> so then I started buying more food. <laughs> Because <laughs> I was overeating. Because they were just used to eating more. Yeah. At that point, yeah. And we was always just like, well, we can just get back to this counting calories thing. We just get back to that. And and uh, so then that didn't pan out. And so we went, and then we may have tried Whole30. No, then we did. Well, I got more into the health food stuff because I was not doing well physically. And so I um, tried the GAPS diet for my health. And we, we did the GAPS diet, and that was Sam's least favorite, I think, of all the things that we did. Because it's basically an elimination diet, and then you slowly reintroduce foods, but they all have to be, like, cooked. And boiled. Boiled. <laughs> so it's supposed to help with gut health and, like, healing and stuff. And I think if we had done it better, like, I think we did see some benefits from it, but it's definitely not something that you can do long term. Um, and I and I was getting, so, I was starting to really be hypoglycemic and getting shaky at work and, like, you know, I work in healthcare. I can't be that way, you know? Right. And I was like, I need protein. And, and, yeah. and uh, so, I mean, of course, I, need, I mean, I need my tri-tip, you know? <laughs> and uh, so he's like, well, you have to boil it. And I said, okay. <laughs> so we did. It was we bo- Yeah, we boiled a tri-tip. We never that, that again. I boiled a tri-tip. And it was awful. But, I yeah. mean, it was the best boiled tri-tip I've ever had. You know? At that point. <laughs> You're so desperate, you know? <laughs> I know. Um, uh, we we did some other. We did the the, the wrapping, the wrapping thing. Okay, yeah. No, that was later. But it doesn't but matter. Nobody we knows. did. I know. This is all, it's next, ten years. Ten it's years. It's true. But the next thing we did was keto. Okay. Um, and I don't remember getting any results with that, and we didn't do it for very long because I just wasn't that we happy did, with. Um, we did the January keto thing where everybody does keto for like. You know, three weeks and like that yeah. doesn't work. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so they give up just, on it. And yeah. They, I remember having just, the keto flu, hard. but did you get the keto flu? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah. It's been too long now, but I remember that we did that for a while and we ate too much cheese and we both got constipated. Mm. And that was terrible because yeah. you do actually have to eat fiber. I did like the cheese keto. part. <laughs> yeah, I was a big fan of that. <laughs> cheese will never betray you except somehow it started to. Well, well you're not supposed to eat that much dairy. Yeah, I'm not supposed to have it anyway. Um, <laughs> anyway, so so that was a crazy one. Yeah, keto didn't really work for us. Then, I mean, anyway, I want to talk about the skin wrapping. So, like, we're going to do okay, the skin yes. wrapping. So, so we th- did this, like, okay, so there was a fad for a while with all of these, like, belly wrap stuff. And it was supposed to, like, train your waist and, like, reduce, S- like. Smash your fat cells or something <laughs> like that so they could get smaller. You and just, like, looked skinnier. And a little bit of heat. And, and, so, and Yeah. So, like, so the wow. idea was. <laughs> the funny thing was, like, they're like, okay, wrap yourself really tight, you know, and then, like, drink lots of water and basically don't eat don't eat any bad food for the next three days. Basically, just be on a diet for three days and then 
the the wrap will have magically made you skinnier. Right. You know. And so we did our own version of, of like, course. this wrap thing. Like we put these special oils on. You yeah. like wrapped in saran wrap and then like this bandage thing. Yes, this and bandage. Like, and I could get the bandage things from work. You, you know, the, the medical grade and then, wrap. Okay, yeah. Then we upped the ante. We put out. We bought these. We had these like sweat suits. So like you put the suit on, <laughs> and it makes you sweat like so much. And we're like, we're burning so many calories yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, we were so crazy and so desperate. Like, I, but we're, I we're in healthcare, like we're doing this stupid thing. You know like, what I mean? What, we were so desperate at that point for any kind of weight loss. Because like, the, the book, well, just, we know what's in the books, and it, but it isn't working. You know, <laughs> no. so we're like, so we're like, we're it wasn't like, working. So we were like trying these crazy things. Yeah. Then we tried. The, I tried. The, was, then we were getting ready for feminine union. So I tried the thermogenic pills. Like, well, these are supposed to work, right? Right. Even <laughs> though, like, I know they don't work, and like people that I know, like, actually know them, we actually had a stroke taking them. You know what I mean? But you're like, well, you're like, I, well it's gonna work for me. I'm different than them. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I can handle this. You know what I mean? I, I'll be monitoring myself very closely. You know what I mean? Well, and that and that I did get below two ten. I got to two oh seven, and but because they gave me diarrhea for like a week <laughs> straight. Yeah, like until you stopped taking them, all it did was just give yeah. you diarrhea yeah. for like so, how long? I think you just lost <laughs> water weight. I think you were just dehydrated. I know. I was just. That's all it was. So terrible. So I just yeah. So I basically so those sucked. You know, I did get down to 207 right before the family <laughs> reunion, but not below 200. But not in a healthy way. No, like, and not, not in a sustainable way. And, oh, I rebounded that baby right back up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, so bad. Like, then we were even, like, heavier afterwards. Yeah. Like, yeah. it was not good. So, we're and we're tracking it. We're waiting on the scale. We're using our we're using our special, you know, MyFitnessPal, you know, putting our calories oh, in. Oh, yeah. We did that forever, the yeah. MyFitnessPal food yeah. tracking. Like, oh, yeah. I could look at Pay a plate. Pro and or premium. We did that for three years straight. The... Weightlifting plans, cardio. Oh my gosh, we were so doing so much cardio and counting our calories. Like I had like three years of like straight um, data of like everything that I ate that I put in my fitness pal. Like mm-hmm. I tracked every morsel, and I could look. I got to the point where I could look at a plate and tell exactly how many calories was on it. Like right? I could estimate like within a fifty calorie. Window. Yeah, and then I was like, oh well, it's obviously it's not the calories, it's the macros. So we got to we now we yes. got to do macros. Oh my gosh, we I forgot about the macros. Oh yeah. So we what? So we went and had like there was a special company like you could have your blood tested and they would tell you like what you needed to eat based on your blood work. Yeah, so and you you, you, fa- you actually had to fast for ten hours, right? right. And then the, and then you and you poked your finger, right? And, and then tested that was your baseline, and then you drank this high sugar, high protein, high fat drink. It was horrible. It tasted yeah, horrible. It was, it was so. And then thirty minutes later, you tested your blood. You tested your blood again on a strip, and then thirty minutes later, and then thirty minutes later. And so, then like. Up and to then, like six hours or yeah, something like that. Uh, I think you had to do like three, two hours. But then, and then you you send it all in, and and the funny thing was is like you know like I was like well I decided because you had to poke your finger right right I decided that I was just gonna have one finger that hurt, <laughs> so I was just gonna poke one finger the entire time <laughs> three times in a row. <gasps> but but the it problem was, was so bad. The problem was like I couldn't get I was so dehydrated and you know, I didn't drink enough the night before that I couldn't get enough. I couldn't get enough blood to come out with a single poke, so I just automatically would poke my finger twice, <laughs> both times. Oh, <laughs> click, click. It was. It and brands, so brands changing fingers. I, I just, it hurts so bad. My fingers, my fingers were sore like a week after well, that. I hate that finger. I swear that finger hurt for, for a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> it was so I bad. know because you poked it like I eight ate, times. I know I was so brutalized. Uh, I felt really bad for diabetics. Like yeah. after that, I was yeah, just so like, oh my god. We sent it in, right? Yeah. Of course, you have to send in your height and your weight. Right. And uh, that we had, we'd already done my 23 and me. So uh, we knew, I knew I had five of the, four of the five markers for diabetes and other mm. things. And um, so we sent that in and then they gave us like, okay, based on your results, you need to eat this way. Right. Right. And we had two different plants, which we kind of expected. Right. You know what I mean? Kind of expected because we're different people. Right. And then if you lose weight, you know, then you, then you can adjust that. Well, so and they gave us a percentage of like macros, macros that we needed to eat also. Yes, and, and then I also and then okay. I also I also pop, bought a program where I would go on it would give me meal plans for that I paid for that also would break them down by macros too. Oh yeah, we yeah. did do that for a while too. Yeah, that I paid for it. and that was an annual plan. And of course, I forget kept forgetting to cancel it every time the annual thing came around. So I paid for that like for like four years. Oops. Um, yeah. It's not good. Yeah. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but I did use the actual plans, so though the recipes and stuff. Like I tried really hard. Yeah, we to tried some. That's some good recipes. Some good good ideas. Um, but um. But so the and anyway, so your your plan came back, and I was jealous because mine came back saying that I needed to be a vegetarian. Yes. And I was like, this cannot be right. 
why? Like, what is wrong with these people? Like, right. I'm not going to be a vegetarian. And that's mine was fine. I had to be a meatitarian, basically. You know, eat like. And I was like, that's not fair. Yeah, it was <laughs> you awesome. You get steak and I get lettuce. Yeah. Like, what the heck, man? So then we started fasting, and I still had this membership, right? And we didn't we didn't we, start fasting yet well, after that. Okay, no, but I changed when no I, no we kind of really didn't do it. I mean, we tried it a little bit, but it didn't really work. Well, we tried. We were trying. It was too many things to count. We were counting calories, macros, and then working out like a million times a week. Yeah. And, um, and trying to do trying these to, meal meal <laughs> trying to work these, and, take and trying to get, and try to create and, two different meal plans for two different people and try, right one for me, one for you, and two kids. You know what I mean. Right. And so, and obviously it was like, oh, we'll make three of what I get to eat and one of what, here you go, Brian, here's your terrible meal and the rest of us will enjoy the dinner. Yeah. You know? That did not work well for me. <laughs> or very long. Um, yeah. So, well, and, and I'm based on the reason I want to talk about this. I eventually did lose weight with fasting. And so I still have this membership because I think it was a lifetime membership. I think I still have it. Um, I went back in and I, and I changed my weight, right? Mm-hmm. Just to like, you know, hey, I want to update my weight on this mm-hmm. thing. And they changed my diet plan. And right. it made it more like yours all of a sudden. And I, and so I emailed them, like, how can you change my plan if basically if I was technically if supposed to. my DNA, DNA is supposed to eat this way, eat then this why way. did you change my plan? And why did you change my plan? And because it, because technically I should have eaten, eat, eaten, ate the way they were telling me to and I should have lost the weight. They don't know right. I didn't eat the way they told me to. Right. You know, eating this plan and then all of a sudden I get to this point and then it changes. Right. And... And I said, so wait a minute, was it inaccurate? When's it inaccurate? Is it inaccurate when you first gave it to me or is it inaccurate now? Because you haven't made, you haven't, I haven't redone the test. Right. Right. And so then I started, then I adjust my weight even more just to just see. Right. And it started turning my plan into her plan. So basically all they basically wanted you to do is be, basically be a vegetarian. And that. Right. And, and, Which is weird. I don't know. I mean, not super weird because, like, obviously eating veg- more vegetables. I know, vegetables but, but the is thing is, it was it was it was sold as being scientific and based on your blood stuff. But it basically it was but it was it was actually. it was completely inaccurate. Yeah. I mean, you can't just change the plan based on, and that made me mad because I like research and data, right? Right. And so and with that, so, I, I gave them research and data, and then they just said they just arbitrarily just started to change my plan when my when my weight changed. Right. Exactly. So I was like, okay, this is complete crap. Which obviously we paid more money for which complete was, crap. Which was bunk, yeah. yeah. But I remember during that time. You were eating so much more protein, um, but you were still eating other things. And so um, you put on a lot of weight just eating protein Mm -hmm. during that time, even though it was supposed to make you eat less. But it was kind of like a when someone tells you, like, you can eat a lot of this, like, for your blood type, like, and you should. Mm -hmm. And then you sort of have that freedom of, like, oh, well, it's fine. However much meat I want to eat, then I can eat as much of it as I want. Right. Right? But the problem is that you can still put on weight with protein. Like, your body only needs so much of it. And all of the excess protein that you're consuming, like, your body will turn that into sugar and into fat. Right. How... For what it, for what it needs, of turn it into storage if it's extra. Mm-hmm. Like even if it's something healthy like that, if you're just continually overeating it, then it's still your body's still going to turn it into fat. Right, if you're over consuming and that, it constantly. And you know, when we were, you know, I remember I had my data point in in January 2015 when I was 231 pounds, mm-hmm. and then we started doing all these counting calories and that kind of stuff, and, fat, and I was really going to track it. And I did go down sometimes, but then I would just do this, you know, and then I would go back up. And then in April of 2018, I was 231 pounds. Again. And yeah. then we were we were visiting some friends. I know. I was I was really overweight at that point because we had I done have, so much pic- yo-yo dieting I have, that I have my a picture, weight just I have a picture of myself. I have this red jacket that I couldn't even zip closed. Uh, that we, we got a picture of me in it. And, mm-hmm. um, and, I, and I smiled because I was happy. I was, you know, and then we went out to ice cream and I just pounded down so much ice cream. And I, haven't, I mean, I enjoyed the trip, but I ate so much food. And I was like, well, what's the point, you know? And so. Yeah, we were both kind of at that point. Like, we've just literally. Yeah, and then, like, okay, the after trip was like, okay, we really got to get back to this. And basically, we dropped yeah. down another 10 pounds. And I just kind of maintained that for, you know, until 2019. I didn't lose any weight, though. Every time I decided I was going to lose weight and I tried really hard, I would gain five pounds. Mm hmm. And I couldn't get it back off again. Yeah. Like the dieting, like dieting, like just never worked for me. Yeah. So I I would just like, I don't know if it just like decreased my metabolism so much or just then I would like bounce back and eat so much other things, mm -hmm. you know, because of the restrictions and stuff. Like, I don't know, but I would always gain weight when I was trying to lose weight. So I went from April, I went from April to um, middle of July about, and I went from two eight. 231 to 218 and then I got my first DEXA scan you know 
And that's about how much you would lose considering with conventional diet theory about, you know, mm-hmm. about a pound a week. And I had done that and I kind of wanted to see where I was at. And then um, come the end of Christmas, we got ready to go my 40th. Well, before that, so at the end of that year, we actually did eat vegetarian. Like we had watched that documentary. Um, no, we did that. We fasted. For like a month, we ate vegetarian. I we, remember we eating vegetarian every time we fasted. Or maybe we did maybe we did when vegan. Did we... Maybe we did vegan for a month. Vegan, yeah. That was after fasting. Okay, yeah, That's we okay, I mean. okay, like so we, we ate vegetarian for a month. Okay. We did eat well vegan really. We ate vegan for a month. Did we eat eggs? We might have ate some well, eggs. I remember, I remember, yeah, I remember, I remember eating it differently. Anyways, we did eat vegetarian for a month and I felt really good actually mm-hmm. on that diet and it wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. It was I was trying to do a like a liver cleanse, like mm-hmm. all that cleanse, like kind of thing for my health at that point. Yeah, so I don't always change your diet because so, of a documentary either. So you yeah. Know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it was the documentary is called Game Changers. It was really interesting. It's interesting. Yeah. Um. So yeah, you you just be surprised how little, you know, animal protein you actually need to eat to maintain your health. Like vegetables are key. But anyways, anyways. we also did that, and we didn't lose any weight doing that. Mm-mm. No. Uh, so then we made it, made it to made it to so made it to December. 2018, so, yeah. um, 220 pounds, went on my, uh, and that, and I was 40 years old, and I, t- I was telling Brianne, by that time, I'm, I'm doing I'm doing fat by 40, because... Because we were trying to do fit by 40. And I just I, couldn't do it. I, 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 I just found like it's, not, it's just not it's working. Just, After just 10 years, I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, this is who I am, this is my body size, this is what I have, I'm, I just have to come to terms with that, and and I was an unhappy person, I was just unhappy with my weight. Right. And Same. We, and that was also I think that's the summer we went and met that one lady who wanted to put me on antidepressants. Oh yeah, that was so irritating because we went to someone for some uh, I'd see, I'd health met, issues. I right? met some. I met with. I met now. I met with a lot of healthcare providers at this point. You know, right about had, your weight, about yeah. my weight, and how to eat better, and and just said, hey, what's I know? I I, I basically said I remember telling them I'm like I'm missing something. I am missing I something. You saying exactly. And I was like that. I feel like I'm missing something, and and like does, is there like an exact. I, if you tell me the exact diet plan to eat, I will eat it. Like, yeah, we were like, we'll do it. Like, like we've I done, will, like, all these restrictive diets before. Like, we know we can do it. Yeah, I am going to be like, 40. we just need the key, Yeah, if man. I boil if I boil meat, I will do anything <laughs> if I can be fit by 40, you know, six months out. And it was basically like, no, just just, just do the, just do, um, you know, the, the dietary plan. More, yeah, like, and then and then the food doing... py- and the food pyramid, you know, just, just, just eat, just eat, you know, eight to 11 slices of bread a day. <laughs> I know. It was just like, what? Like the food pyramid is so wrong. And not only that, but she was just like, well, just eat organic and grass-fed meat. Oh, that was the like, Yeah. So when we went to her, she was, she was, so we were like, we okay. didn't research, you know what I mean? And she, and right she, into that. Yeah. Into that. She, so she told us we had to eat grass-fed meat. Right. And I was like, well, grass-fed meat is, is not grass finished. It's, it's still corn finished. Mm-hmm. And she's like, well, I know my husband's a chef. I'm like, well then. You know, Why are you recommending? Something yeah, we'll just that do the best you can. Do. It's, yeah, it's like, like we'll just do the best you can. It's like the best I can do is Nebraska Nebraska <laughs> cornbread beef is what the best I can do because that's amazing. You know what I mean? So uh, we did not get along. Um, but also, one of the things that really upset me was she was very thin, and that's fine. That didn't upset me. What upset me was I'm coming to you to, for help. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm coming to your office. I drove three hours to get here. I'm coming for you to get help. Right. I take this evaluation. It says I'm not depressed. I'm not stressed out, except at work sometimes I am. But, uh, you know, that's because sometimes my job is stressful. Uh, but uh, when I'm not at work, I'm not stressed out. I mean, a very low score in that. And Brianne's stress score was much higher. Of course, right. I was there for a lot of health issues that I was having at yeah. that time. Yeah. You know, and, and... We hadn't started fasting yet. No, we hadn't started fasting. I was a wreck. And, you know, I had had... And probably stressed out because I wasn't losing weight. And I'd had surgery. Uh, you know, I'd had to get my... I had my nose septoplasty done. I had to get my tongs. I snored really bad. I had a bunch of stuff. I was having overweight problems. Um, and, you know, so we're here to get help. And she says... You know, well, then she wants to put me on an antidepressant, but she doesn't tell me it's an antidepressant. Yeah. She tells me, I'm going to give you this medicine to help you stay motivated. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, it's, it's, it, and like, I what said, is that I'm, like, to be? I'm like, okay, well, you know, it's just, it's just a supplement. I'm like, okay, cool. What is it? And she said, it's a serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Now, that's what she told me, which, which she would have told anybody. They would have been like, okay, whatever. Okay, whatever. But I know, it's like, that's an antidepressant. Right, exactly. And she said, well, it's a mild one. I said, yeah, but I just came out in the fact that I wasn't depressed. And you want to put me in an antidepressant. And she said, well, it's just to keep you motivated. Like, and I, and I, I am motivated. And I We've said, been yeah. motivated for 10 and years. And I said, I'll be motivated not to be an antidepressant. 
because and because I didn't need it. Now I'm not saying antidepressants are bad for people who need it. Certainly take it. But here it is. Brianne's got a stress level of like eight out of ten. And right. ten out of ten at that time. Yeah, you're right. Probably at that moment, <laughs> but, yeah. you know, because I'm getting upset and 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 uh, she did prescribe me some things that helped me for a little bit. But she didn't offer Brianne that antidepressant right. because Which because is weird. because, because Brianne, I w- because she didn't consider me because you weren't obese. You weren't overbeast. You know what right. I, mean? I wasn't in the obese category on the BMI. Yeah. Right. But I was overweight for my size and my health. Yeah. So, so so she's like, well, Brand's fine. She doesn't need an antidepressant. She's not fat. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> that was so frustrating. I was mad. So, so yeah. that was very disappointing to me. And so yeah. it's okay to be um, unhappy with your weight, and you can still be a happy person. I just I try to tell that to people. It's like you know. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So if you're unhappy with anything else, you're unhappy with your haircut. You got a new new haircut. You just <laughs> you just get a new haircut. You know what I mean? Nobody's like, oh my gosh, you need my antidepressant because you got a terrible haircut. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. <laughs> Nobody would blame you for that. It's like, but if you're unhappy with your weight, you can you can be and you can still be happy. So anyway, so that so, t- so another thing that we tried. Yeah. Yeah, another thing we tried didn't work. Uh, disappointing in healthcare providers, a healthcare provider, other many healthcare providers you know, that I was disappointed in, and mm-hmm. so that's why I have the well, apology you went video. To some dietitians and stuff yeah, too. Yeah, I did. I like, went to other doctors yeah. and I went to uh, yeah. practice docs and I went to other people. I went to like and this person was recommended. Go see this person; they'll help you. And yeah. that's mm-hmm. especially a special clinic for this. I went to a special clinic to help me lose weight, and yeah. that that's was not that was kind of like last straw. Yeah. So. Um, it was. And then you were going to, you wanted to do fasting, and I was just like, no. Well, yeah. You this was, this was in, like, November, December that I started yeah. looking at fasting because mm-hmm. my parents, my mom had sent me some information on I think, mm-hmm. uh, for my dad's cancer and stuff. And so we, the more I, the more research I did on the more videos I watched, the more I read, the more, like, everything I was like, oh, my gosh, I have to try this, like, not only could there be like weight loss benefits, but also huge benefits for my health. And I had a horrible stomach infection at the time mm-hmm. um, that I was battling. And so I was like, I just need some relief so bad. And so um, I did one 24 hour fast, <laughs> just cold turkey, just decided not to eat to see how I'd feel. And the next, and so I did eat dinner that night, but then the next morning I woke up and my symptoms were basically gone. One fast, one 24 hour fast. And I was sold. I was like, all right. We got to do this. This is the next thing that we're going to try. <laughs> right? Yeah. But he was totally not not on board with it. He's like, that's not healthy. That's terrible. I said, like, you can do it, but I'm not doing things. it. I'm not starving myself is what I thought. You know? Yeah, exactly. Like, because that's what everyone thinks when you say you're going to fast. You, oh, no, that's starving yourself. It's so unhealthy. Yeah. It's um, going to turn you into anorexic, which it doesn't. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. I still like food just as much or even more now. Yeah, exactly. It, it tastes better even now yeah. since we've been fasting. But, um. But yeah, then by January, I finally got you. Um, so I did some watching uh, some videos, watch some videos, do some more research, some read some books, do some, some research, look at some research articles, and I thought, okay, this is this looks like this actually there's the, there's research mm-hmm. and evidence behind this, mm-hmm. and so we decided that we would do it. But I was it was gonna be due after my fortieth uh, celebration. You know, I was I was. Um, you know that when that was being in January, and so I actually have a picture of that. You know when we're on the train, and and mm. uh, that was a great time. And Brand planned the whole trip, and we had a wonderful time. And then awesome. we didn't come back and do it right away. We kind of planned it out, and I had a day that was mm-hmm. just gonna um, was gonna show up where I could just do it. And I said, "Well, we'll mm-hmm. see how long I can go." You know. Yeah. Um, it's crazy because it was so contrary to everything that we've been taught. Because we had in the house, I remember at the time tons of protein bars because it was like we were always supposed to be eating a protein bar like if you got hungry while you're working out or if you're feeling sick or faint or like yeah like between meals and like never so, stop eating right never stop eating and so we went through so many protein bars and we we bought healthy ones like whole food ones and yeah four ingredients know, and all the protein and everything and um so we had a lot of those in the house and so it was weird walking through the kitchen and not grabbing a snack Mm-hmm. Because we were so trained to right. do that, and then yeah. those eventually end up ex- so, expiring. <laughs> they all expired and went bad because we never ate them anymore, and never felt like we needed them because we didn't. And yeah, we were so much healthier and feeling so much better without all the five hundred yep. snacks every day. It was just crazy. Yeah, and the ironic thing is, is, I keep one in my work bag just in case, like just in case my blood sugar were to drop, and I had to have something. I keep one of those in my workout bag. 
And I replace it every year when it expires. <laughs> <laughs> because you don't need it. You don't have the blood sugar conscious no, anymore with fasting. That. Yeah, with the fasting, I don't have it. I know. You know, so. But anyways, that's, so our story is a lot of things. Like, and I'm sure there's things that we've forgotten and left out that we've tried. Sure. In there also at some point. Um I mean, all the weight okay, equipment, you know, you buy, you buy all these equipment and you buy all these things you think you're going to use and then you're mm-hmm. just selling them or giving them away. And, yeah. you know, you buy you buy bikes for the whole family because you're going to all... cleanse apps, bikes. Yeah, yeah, a lot of exercise equipment. We've yeah. gone through a lot of yeah, you're gonna, you're exercise gonna, equipment. Yeah, you're going to do all this stuff. Bicycles, total gyms, treadmills, weights, like yep. weightlifting stuff. Like, yeah. yeah. We had one of those gazelle things for a while. Like, I mean, I don't know. You name it, like exercise product, like we probably bought it and tried yeah. it. Like, we had <laughs> so many different things over the years. Yep. <laughs> we were always and trying up, the next thing. And they end up just holding clothes or just getting dust after, like, a few weeks and spend all this money on it. And then you end up selling it at the yard sale, you know? Yep. So. For someone else to buy it and then let it collect us. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Don't those treadmills and stuff just always end up as a place for you to hang things? Like Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Your laundry goes there. Yeah. Anyways... <laughs> But we finally found fasting, and, um, yeah, the, and, rest, and, and the found rest is history. It, yeah, like, and found it at a time that, like, you know, middle weird, of January, is, that's when everybody's given up. You know, that's why we jumped in. Like, everybody's given up on their new resolutions, and we didn't make a new resolution that year. And, like, and, and then everything that would derail any other weight loss program, we went through right. during that six months. And, you know, I I, I – said this i was trying to get below 200 pounds for 10 years that was like my goal yeah to go below 200 pounds yeah and um we did a fast my vaccine first asked to come on to see how long i could go and I actually went 42 hours which was kind of surprising and then we broke it at a restaurant which i recommend breaking your first fast at home your body's not used to fasting <laughs> and things start moving very quickly once your guts turn back on so <laughs> don't break your fast break your first fast at home yeah. um but and then i did like a 24 to 36 and then I looked, I just looked, and then we went to Aruba and for yes, our anniversary. So we only fasted for like a week, and then yeah. we went to Aruba. So but it, I had already lost like five pounds at that yeah, point. Yeah, you'd done some more of it. But so, so that's the thing that was crazy was, is like, one, it became, well, this is feasible. And two, was was like, we're going to go on this trip. But the kind of the deal is now we knew it was feasible for us to, like, actually not die. You know what I mean? <laughs> and not starve and not, you know, feel terrible and actually, yeah. actually feel really good. Um, that we said, okay, we're going to go on this trip, and we're going to just enjoy it. We're gonna to go to the buffets. We're gonna go. We're gonna get. We're gonna to go to the fancy restaurants. Mm-hmm. You know what I just remembered? We did Whole Thirty for like a long time too. Before, I mentioned Whole Thirty at one point before we start found fasting. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. Like actually, that was good healthy food and stuff. But we didn't really yeah, lose any weight uh, on it I or anything. I think you can't have potatoes with it or something like that or something weird. I can't remember. We can't have. I don't know. I can't remember. Potatoes now, are fine but... when you're eating. Just. Anybody who's anti, <laughs> I'm not anti potato. I'm I'm pro potato. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Be pro potato. Anyway, no, it it is good. They have a lot of great healthy recipes and stuff. But it's not like we lost weight and it wasn't just sustainable yeah. forever. Well, yeah. Like we still wanted to have cake once in a while. Yeah, like, you're gonna do something for thirty so. days and like that's it. And then you're gonna go back to right where you were. So, um, so yeah, we went to Aruba and we overate and we celebrated and we went to fancy restaurants. Mm-hmm. And, and it was fun. And then we came back and just started fasting again. And we, like, lost all the weight that we gained on the trip in, like... Very quickly. A very, like, couple of days. Like, yeah, we started... Just, just, what we started doing was maybe seen, started experimenting with some longer fasts because we'd already done some of those. Mm-hmm. Um, and we had done... Um, and then Valentine's Day came up, very, you know, right after that. And so that'd be a whole other reason to kind of just derail you. And then um, I had two hospitals that had some big... The hospital galas, it's our big fundraiser. And so there's lots of food and... And, and wine and, and, and cake and cake, and, cake yeah. and celebration and yeah. stuff like that. And so uh, and two of those really in February also. So at Aruba, two, two huge celebrations and uh, oh, Valentine's Day. And then right after that, we had a family vacation. But Yeah, and we had a family reunion come up in March. But right before the family reunion, I hit, I went below 200 pounds. Yeah, that's and, crazy. And that was like. And that was the first time that I actually lost weight before I went on vacation. Yeah. Cause, because every year, like before a family reunion, try and lose five pounds and I gain five pounds. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Right? Who doesn't? I would try. I would try every year and it never worked. So that was the first year that I actually was able to lose weight before I went there for yeah. like a long time. So we, and now we'd done the Aruba thing and now we fasted and then we kind of like, okay, we're going to do the um, same thing. 
you know, and we'll, we'll eat what we want to we'll eat. Enjoy our time. And enjoy our time come there. Back and, pass. Yeah. and the thing is, is like right around the corner from where we were was a gelato shop. And we put on more weight in that reunion, but we went to gelato every single day. And now I know because I was spiking my insulin the entire time. Yeah. Every single day I was putting extra weight on me. I know. We didn't so, realize. So I actually gained a lot more weight. You know, and I was. Than we thought we would. I put on like 11 pounds or something like 12 pounds. And I was up to around 211, you know. And so that would have been totally demoralizing in the past. To mm-hmm. have like, I finally met below 200 pounds. And then now I'm back up 11 pounds over that. Um, but I was like, well, I'm just going to go right back to it. Yeah, and, and then we lost weight like within a week's time. Yeah, a week or two, um, we you know. Back. And then, and then, it then it was like, okay, well, then, what's my next goal? And my next goal was 190, um, and that was that was her, and my dad, her, my her dad, my father in law, Tim. We were we did a race to 190. Yeah, and of course, great. yeah, Tim's an engineer, so it has to be 190.0. It can't be 190.1, <laughs> you know. And so, because I was like, why you guys both made it there on the same day? We made it there on the same day. He beat me by two hours, but he's Eastern time zone. So I think actually, well, I don't know. So anyway, the deal was, is actually whoever got there first got a trophy. And so I was more than happy to ship the trophy to his house. Yeah. So he's, awesome. he's got a 190 trophy. And uh, that's fun. Yeah. But anyways, long story short, I think we wanted to talk about all the crazy things we did. And I'm sure you guys who are listening have tried crazy things to lose weight too and they never worked but we've been happy with flexible fasting for the last three years mm-hmm. and i've kept the weight off and you're way below 190 now yeah and, and i'm finally below my uh goal weight and i have been for the last three years and so that's been amazing yeah so yeah i've maintained my 20 to 25 pound weight loss and i feel good yeah better than i felt in the last like six years. Yeah. That's the best I felt in six years. So we got it all the day. I got the weight right down. And then we decided, yeah. now, and then we figured out we can, now we know how to maintain it and still celebrate. Yeah. You know? So it's it, been fun. It's been. And in fact, this so year. So much less stress in our lives. My stress level from the 10 out of 10 is now like yeah. down here at like a four, like yeah, in the good. normal range. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's good. So. You still need to be what? in the presence. That's good. I don't know. <laughs> you know? I guess it's, it's so they have their purpose. But. Yeah. So then, so this to take it to the next level of what we've done now, not only we maintained it, we maintained it, we decided this last year that we were going to take on the holidays with people. And because every like health program just, just like just ignores the holidays. Like they'll get you, try to get you for January for those three weeks that you're committed and then you're going to die off, you know. Um, but we decided, you know, we believe in this so much that we're going to do a six week holiday plan. And so we had people come we on board. We did personalized plan with people. So, yeah, a six-week mm-hmm. holiday plan for the six weeks of the holidays. Mm-hmm. And to make sure that we planned around all your vacations, you planned around all of your, uh, all, the, all the holidays, all the extra little Christmas parties that pop up. Uh, for women, they planned around their cycle. Mm-hmm. Um, we did this whole thing for six weeks and then and took people through the entire holidays with us. Mm-hmm. And uh, we had people losing weight during the holidays. I mean... Yeah, a lot. A lot. And it was, the, the original goal was like, we, we, we've proven that fasting is actually healthy for you. You know right. what I mean? So if you fast, you're going to actually be healthier on January 1st than you were the day before Thanksgiving. So how cool would that be, right? Right. So that was the first goal. To so, experience and enjoy the holidays and also be healthier Yeah. by the time January 1st comes around. And so the second one was then to maintain weight. That was the second goal. Right. You know, Just it, maintain your weight and not gain any weight over the holidays. Because that's is, super, super cool. Which is huge. Yeah. Just say, I maintain my weight over the holidays. We was like, wow, I should do that. You know, that's impossible. I saw you at the party, you know? Yeah. And then the third goal was to lose weight. And, yeah. you know, we had some people lose some significant amount of weight and, and, and tell us all the celebrations that they did. Yeah. So that's how well it works. Because if, really if, we, if we can take on the holidays and be successful then, then you can do it any time. Right. Be successful in not only losing weight and a significant amount of weight, a, a lot of our participants has lost 20 pounds or more uh-huh. um, over the holidays, which is crazy. Right. Um, and then in just that six-week period, um, and we even did a bonus week with them, which was really fun. But, yeah. Um, not only lose weight, but also maintain their health and not gain any weight over the holidays, which and not just maintain their health, but improve it. Like all – amazing things to happen over that six-week time period so yeah so we're going to be doing it again this summer yeah six weeks Another, before summer yep six-week personalized plan intensive right before summer starts so that'll begin the beginning of april so yeah we'll start logging people on yeah. so you can start you can actually start signing up now 
you want to be on the wait list. Right. If you want to and, get on the wait list, you can. And, now. and then we will we will be opening it uh, the beginning of April for your questionnaires and uh, for your information and then um, for you to get on. And then we will be going live the six weeks before summer. And we'll be back on there. Uh, you'll have your own little personalized forum with us that you can ask us questions every single day. Yeah. We have a weekly Q&A. Um, we'll help you get ready for the summer. And then, and it's then, gonna be great. Yeah, it's gonna be great. We're gonna have a, a live in-person meetup with the group as well. Oh, which I'm really excited about. That. Yeah, so, so you yeah. want to come and meet everybody? That's yeah. very cool. Yeah, so it's gonna be great. But, um, anyways, I hope this was helpful to you and encouraging. That you know, we've done all the crazy things too, but there is hope at the yeah. end of the road with flexible fasting. So yeah. if you if you have tried all the things and you're at the end of your rope, then join us. Yep. Try flexible fasting because it'll change your life. Yep. And now I have healthcare providers coming to me and asking me, how did you do it? Because they know what's in the books doesn't work. Yeah. It's, it's, it's one of the secrets that they don't tell you in healthcare. I know. It's a good old Fasting, flexible fasting, the biggest life hack that we've ever hacked. Yep. 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 So, yeah. Anyways, we'd love for you to join us. And tell us in the comments, what have you tried? Like, yep. what's the craziest thing you've done to lose weight? Like, were you as desperate as we were? <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> I just wonder if they're going to come up Let with something know. that I can be like, oh, yeah, I tried that too. I forgot to mention that in the video, you know? <laughs> right? Yeah. Probably. I'm sure there's more that we forgot. But anyways, yeah. thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.